Our top story tonight, the all clear has been given at Manor Park after a carbon monoxide leak evacuated one of its facilities for several days last week. Tonight we know that one person is still being treated for carbon monoxide poisoning at Midland Memorial Hospital. All of the heaters in the building are fully operational today. Residents were able to move back in on Saturday evening. At one point in the last week, up to 30 people were sent to the hospital. Today, we've also learned that there were no carbon monoxide monitors in the facility where the gas leak happened. Now, Manor Park administrators are working to make changes at that facility. News West 9's Rachel Ribb has been following the changes that they've made. Rachel, what have you learned? Tatum, after a major scare at Manor Park last week, this West Texas assisted living home isn't taking any risks. In fact, they're eliminating them. After the carbon monoxide leak in one of their buildings last week, they've made some big changes. Call it a life-saving device. Carbon monoxide monitors. Manor Park maintenance crews spent the day installing them in its evacuated building. Up until this incident, there were none in the building. Once we discovered the risk of uh, gas being burned and becoming carbon monoxide, uh, we wanted the building to be safe. And the first thing we thought we could do of, of any help would be get those monitors and install them right away. Work began the day of the leak. Crews bought out the local supply of carbon monoxide detectors and installed them. They ordered 120 more, installing those over the weekend. The assisted living community ordered even more for 140 other rooms on campus that are gas powered. Today, the question, why weren't there any monitors in the first place? To my knowledge, we were compliant with every uh, relevant code, whether it's federal, state, local. Uh, we had a good architect team put that building together. Uh, it met all the code at the time. The campus opened its doors to residents in November of 2005. There was no mandate by the National Fire Protection Association at that time requiring carbon monoxide monitors. That mandate did not come until 2018, and it's only for new facilities. We've done everything we know to do to prevent the reoccurrence of carbon monoxide in our building. Most fire departments can install carbon monoxide detectors for free if you simply call them. Monitors like these typically start at $50 at a local supply store.